If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to Zarin Tech this video on the Workday Studio platform. I'll be walking you through the key concepts and components of Workday Studio. Before we dive in, please note that this video is provided for informational purposes only. Be sure to comply with all applicable copyright laws. Without limiting rights under copyright, no part of this document may be reproduced without permission. Credits should be given for any images taken from open sources. Let's start with the agenda of the video. Workday Studio Platform Integration Phases Integration Collection and Cloud Repository Cloud Runtime CLAR Archive Developing Integration Collection Export Import Solution Developing Studio for Workday Vision Control Workday Studio provides an integrated development environment or IDE that helps developers design and build integrations. It is built on top of the open source Eclipse IDE. With Studio, you create assemblies from reusable components like transports, routing, configuration, and mediation steps. These assemblies form the basis of your integrations. There are several phases involved in developing and running integrations with Workday Studio. Design, using Studio's design tools, you develop the assemblies that comprise your integration. Deploy, from Studio, you can connect to the cloud repository and deploy your integration. Configure, in the Workday UI, you can configure aspects like security and setup data. Launch, you can launch integrations from Studio or the Workday UI. Monitor, after launching an integration, you can track its progress in Studio or Workday. Workday Studio platform provides an environment to design, develop, and deploy integrations that connect Workday to other systems. Integrations are applications designed to integrate and run within Workday's web service environment. Studio organizes integrations into groups called collections and deploys the integrations to Workday's cloud repository. Workday's network hosts the cloud repository. The Workday application maintains information about integrations deployed to the cloud repository through an abstraction called the integration system. This allows you to configure aspects of the integration like security and setup data from the Workday UI. When an integration is launched, Workday's platform allocates a cloud runtime to it. This isolates integrations from each other. Instead of executing events immediately, the Workday server places them in a queue awaiting an available cloud runtime. When one is free, it retrieves the integration and deploys it for execution. This diagram shows how cloud runtimes provide isolated environments for integration execution. The Workday server queues integration jobs. When a cloud runtime is available, the job is deployed to it from the cloud repository. Assemblies provide a framework for building integrations in Workday Studio. Collections are a deployable unit, the basis for deployment to the cloud repository. A collection can contain one or more integrations. A collection is a packaging concept Studio uses to build a deployment artifact called a CLAR or Cloud Archive. The CLAR contains binary artifacts, compiled code, and third-party libraries added to projects. Collections allow developers to organize reusable components into shared projects used across integrations. This diagram summarizes how developers use Workday Studio to build integrations that are organized into collections. Collections are deployed as CLAR archives to the cloud repository. The cloud repository stores only binary CLAR files, not source code. You should back up your Studio projects separately. The cloud repository maintains only the last deployed CLAR version. When you undeploy in Studio, the CLAR is also removed from the repository. When you extract a CLAR file, it contains a collection folder with the CLAR manifest and project folders. Project folders contain meta INF and user INF subfolders with binaries. Source folder with original studio projects and code. The source folder in an extracted CLAR contains collection folder with original studio project files. Project folders contain meta INF, user INF, project, and class path. This allows importing projects back into Workday Studio. Let us see the Hello Cloud Collection tab. Although collections are unique per tenant, you can collaboratively develop them in a version-controlled environment. Any developer can then deploy a collection to the cloud repository. Only one instance of a collection can run at a time. If you redeploy a modified collection, it replaces the previous version. You can export a collection and solution to a CLAR without deploying to Workday. From the Studio menu, select Solution Greater Than Export. Select the collection to export, to export a collection to a CLAR. In the Studio menu, go to Solution Greater Than Export. Select the collection you want to export. This exports the collection without deploying to Workday. When exporting a collection, you can select the export directory to save the CLAR file. 
You can also export a CLAR using the export button in the studio toolbar or by right clicking the project. There are a few ways to import a CLAR into Workday Studio. From the studio menu, select Workday greater than solution greater than import. Use the import button in the studio toolbar. From the file menu, select import to import a CLAR. Click the import button in the studio toolbar. Or from the file menu, select import and expand the workday folder. Then select solution catalog CLAR. When you select to import a CLAR, the import wizard opens. Browse to select a CLAR from the catalog or file system. Click open to load the CLAR manifest information in the import CLAR wizard. Browse and select the CLAR file. Click open to load the manifest details. Click next to continue to import a CLAR. In the wizard, click browse and select the CLAR file. Click open to load the file. Once the CLAR is loaded, the manifest details like title, description, and icon are displayed. Click next to see the CLAR details page. On the CLAR details page, you can rename projects or collections by selecting edit. Click finish to import the project into the studio workspace. You can now work with the imported project. This diagram summarizes the process of importing a CLAR into your Workday Studio workspace. You can then work with the imported projects. To deploy a collection to Workday, right-click the collection folder and select Deploy to Workday. The Deploy wizard opens. Select the target Workday environment. When deploying to Workday, the Deploy wizard shows connected environments. Select the target environment to deploy the collection. Click Next to continue. On the Add slash Remove screen, the collection is added automatically. You can add more collections if needed. Click Next to review and finish deploying. Once deployed, a message is displayed in the Studio status bar. When deploying to Workday, you can select the option to include source code in the CLAR. This allows later importing the source into Studio projects. To always deploy with source code, go to Window Greater than Preferences. Under Workday Greater than Deployment, select the option. This will include source for all deployments. Here you can see the Workday Studio preference to always deploy integrations with source code included. This allows round tripping if needed. Under Window Their Preferences, you can navigate to Workday, Deployment. When you deploy the project to Workday, you also have the option to select or deselect, deploy with source code. Workday and Studio are not version control systems. However, Studio is based on Eclipse and integrates with Eclipse version control plugins. This allows developers to collaborate effectively by tracking changes. Eclipse supports version control systems like Git, Mercurial, CVS, Subversion. Using version control is essential for teams building Workday integrations with Studio. Those are the key points on using Workday Studio to develop, deploy, and manage integrations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.